Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are talking about PWM, pulse width modulation, which is basically, oh, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. Okay, which is basically a way that allows us to simulate an analog voltage on our digital pins. Certain pins on our Arduinos, on the Uno, you know, it's pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 are uh, PWM pins, so we can send PWM commands to them. Since the Uno and the Nano are the same chip, it's the same thing. But anyway, you see the LED here lit on pin 9. If I adjust this potentiometer, I can make it brighter and I can make it darker. But one thing that doesn't change is the frequency. Now I'm using the Geek Krite frequency counter here from Banggood, and you can see we are at 490 hertz. And if I adjust our PWM frequency up, so that's at about halfway, we're still at 490 hertz. And if I crank it all the way up so that we're at 255, you see we are still at 490 hertz. Nothing changes. Well, there is a way to change it using a PWM library that's available. And let's take a look at that. I thought before we went right into that PWM frequency library, you should take a look at the waveform on the oscilloscope so you can see it. Now you can see right here, they are pretty even. Half the time it's on, half the time it's off. And you can see our frequency down there is 490 hertz. But if I change that potentiometer, the frequency is still 490 hertz. The only thing that's changed is the relationship between on time and off time. So let me do one more quick little demonstration of this here for you. I'm going to put it back to about 50% mark space. I'm going to bring up the cursor menu. And we're going to track time. And let's get our cursor, our starting cursor. And we'll put it right here. And then we'll get our ending cursor. And we'll put it right here. Okay, so you see we have one full wavelength there. Now, as I adjust the frequency, I mean the pulse width, you see now we're way up. Now we're way down. But the frequency remains the same within the box. All right. Here is our basic code for a PWM. We just selected a pin in this case, pin 9. We say pin mode 9 output. And then we do an analog write to pin 9. In this case of 127, which is you know, about halfway. Now here is where we can control the frequency using the PWM library. Now if you want to look at my code for all of the Arduinos I did in this video, it's right here. And if you want to download the library, you can find it here. So anyway, the first thing we need is to include the PWM library. We're picking our LED pin, and we are picking our frequency, in this case, 1K, 1000 Hertz. Then in setup, we say init timer safe. So this makes all the timers except timer zero, which controls our main timing functions, such as millis, available for setting at a different frequency. Now we say bool, which is a true false variable success, equals set pin frequency safe. So we are doing this function, set pin frequency safe, our LED pin and our frequency. And then we just say, you, you don't even have to do this part here. If it's successful, we turn on the built-in LED. But all you have to do is this function right here, set pin frequency safe, LED comma frequency, and then 
in our regular sketch, our regular Arduino sketch, where we say analog right, the pin in our pulse width. Here we say PWM right, our pin in our pulse width. That's it. So the only real changes are right here in um, our setup. And like I said, you can get rid of that and that. So instead of saying, you know, pin mode 9 output, we're just saying set pin frequency safe and we're knitting the timer safe. So that's okay, all. So is. here is an Uno running that code we just looked at with the PWM frequency uh, library. And again, here on the Geek Crit frequency counter from Banggood, you can see we are at 1000 hertz or 1 kilohertz. And just by changing that set frequency safe function, we can set this anything up to, I believe he said about three megahertz. But uh, that's it, you know, it's pretty simple. Tell you what we'll do here is we will, uh, we'll stick this on the scope so that you can see that frequency as well. Now there's no potentiometer attached to this one. So we're just running at that standard frequency we set that is again one kilohertz. So let's bring the camera up on the scope, zoom in, and there you can see our frequency is one kilohertz and we're running about a 50% mark space ratio. And that's it. It's that simple to change the frequency of your PWM pins. So what is this useful for? Well, it's useful for a lot of things and uh, we're gonna get into that in a project starting tomorrow. So if you like this, give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Are you still there? That's really the end of the video. You can go now. It's okay.